From his base in Buenos Aires, fitness instructor Juan Val has clients across the United States. If you want to keep yourself healthy, you got to move your body, you got to move it properly and uh, better. According to the Global Health and Fitness Association, more than 64 million people in the U.S. belonged to a health club before the COVID-19 pandemic. Lockdowns and remote work during the pandemic led to a surge of more home-based workouts, and as a result, the fitness industry partly moved online. Juan offers classes on an app to clients for a competitive rate. Uh, it, depending on where you live in the U.S., it can be anywhere between 100 to 200 bucks an hour for a personal trainer. And so on hip train, um, that's down to $14. And, and so it's a massive difference in, in cost. For personal trainers, it is also an attractive option. Hip train has seen a sharp uptake in the number of fitness instructors from Argentina because for instructors like Juan, it's a golden opportunity to earn in US dollars. Personal trainers can earn double what they would in Argentina with these online classes. Our currency uh, and its value is lower with the time. And uh, that's how it's been since the last 10 years or something. And uh, for us, it's normal. Shouldn't be normal, but it is. Argentina's peso is weakening. The so-called blue dollar, which is illegal, or other parallel exchange rates, are well over double the value of the official peso. Inflation spiked in July and is currently running at 64% annually. And the economic outlook has led to political instability. The month of July saw lower house speaker Sergio Massa become the third economy minister in a month as the domestic crisis deepens. Here's very hard in any type of job to have a good income, but especially doing fitness. There's a lot of people doing classes. There is a lot of demand as well, but mostly it's not like what we say in Blanco. That means it's under the table, most of the pay. That also has some downsides, and usually the pay is still low. With capital controls in place, Argentines are increasingly seeking opportunities to earn a living in dollars to beat inflation. Joel Richards for CGTN in Buenos Aires.